Alrighty. Uh, right. Uh, okay, that's that's working. Uh, let me just switch off of that. Pull up OBS. Uh, sorry, I'm just confirming some things. Okay. Anyways, welcome back to Vesperia. Patty's treasure hunt. What? I'm really glad to see you're still breathing, Yuri. Sorry that I made you look for so long. Well, it wasn't my first treasure hunt, was it? Estelle was the first one who found him, though. Right. So, alas, we were delayed. Are you really treating me like some pretty bobble to be picked up? You're the treasure I've always <laughs> been looking for. Oh. Now that's true on multiple levels. No special meaning. I mean what I said. Indeed. You are all treasures to me. And now we're off on another treasure hunt? Exactly. We'll have to be quick and be sure nobody gets to our loot before us. Aye! Alright, uh... Hospital. to everything but her research right now. I can't really blame the people here for treating her like such a weirdo. She looked so happy. She must have discovered something. <laughs> that was funny. Just zoom. I hope so. Let's go and see. The secret of Yuri. How did Yuri survive falling from a height like that? He was over the sea. Maybe someone fished him out. Took the Thiertia everywhere to look for him, but he never turned up anywhere. Maybe he drifted ashore somewhere? <laughs> well, he is Yuri. <laughs> right. As long as he is safe, that's enough. I... I enjoy that. Well, he is Yuri. Like, that's <laughs> just the end of the statement. Just, it's Yuri. Be able to calculate the force field stability coefficient. Rita? We can make a key formula. Efficiency is okay. Making a stable non dispersing piece should be. Hey, Rita. What? Don't bother me! Huh? <laughs> oh, it's you. How did you get into. Wait, you're. Hi. I looked all over for you, you know. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> well, whatever. I don't have time to argue about that. I have something very important to talk to Estelle about. To Estelle? I may have found a way to control the behavior of air. Really? <laughs> That's great, Rita! I learned lots of things when I investigated Zaude. Like how we might be able to apply the techniques used there. Uh. However, that is related to Estelle's power as a child of the full moon? We need to interact with the air to make it recombine freely according to a formula. This is something only Estelle can do. If only I hadn't given Dane Nomos back. Did you meet Duke? Yeah, he saved me. Well, he said it was so he could recover the sword. That sword's different from the Child of the Full Moon. I doubt it could be a substitute. But that control formula you used on Estelle, that was to control the power of the Child of the Full Moon, wasn't it? Yeah. So if we're going to control the air with this theory, we have to release the control formula on Estelle. So, 
If everything goes right, we control the air. But if we screw up, the air will get even worse and the world will fall to the Autophagos. Is that about right? <laughs> That's quite a bold plan. Aye, it's a plan as bold as jellyfish stuck in shallow waters. Uh, sure. Let's go with that. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Estelle, believe me. Lend me your power. <laughs> Are you scared? No, I'm happy. I might still be able to use my power to help others. Rita, please let me know if there's anything I can do. So what exactly do we need to do? Well, I'm not completely finished working everything out. Give me a little more time. Okay, we'll go see Carol and Raven while you figure things out. Great! I'll go too. I've got all the materials I need in my head. Alright, me hearties! Let's get going! Yay, we have our mage back. Uh, repeat? Get the hell out. Honestly, I like just sticking with healer, mage, and two melees. Glad you're safe, women. <laughs> oh, if he was safe, the least he could have done is let us know. That idiot. Yeah, if we'd known he was okay, we wouldn't have wasted all this time <clears throat> looking for him. But we wouldn't have known he was all right if we hadn't looked. Which is why he should have let us know in the first place. I mean, we looked all over. We'd be too worried about him if we hadn't. You were really worried, weren't you, Rita? What? Thank goodness you're safe, Fury. Yes, I'm so glad. <laughs> Just look how happy <laughs> Rita like, what? is. <laughs> Are you happy? Oh, <laughs> uh, just. <laughs> oh, I kind of forgot to have all these. Um. Let's slap the max HP stuff onto Rita. Just, just do it like that. Uh, physical attack, uh, fury, agility. Uh, uh, I, I guess I can give it to Rita uh, to Stella. I don't know. Uh, we're going to. Considering we have to go find Raven and Carol, I'm assuming we're going to the guild, the town, anyway, so I can pick up. I can restock on stuff there. It's not that big a deal. City Heliard. Wrong place. I will protect me from my my stupidity. Ah, here. Dongrass, there we go. I still like the music, the music for this, this town, it's nice. Uh, well let's enter the fortune market, we stock on stuff, and see if I can't make anything. Actually, let's start with making anything. Eh, no. Nothing that I can make in key items. The only things missing are stuff that I literally can't make anymore. Because that was for a single test, single quest, and this thing was eaten into this, so... Uh, any second? Any... Please? No. First, we stock on everything. 
have enough money for it now. Already stock on life bottles. One matted ones I used. Okay, when it comes to weapons, I think let's wait until, uh, okay, let's wait until we get our entire crew back before, uh, I purchase new equipment. A method for controlling the air, huh? I hope it goes okay. Yeah. If it doesn't, we'll have to keep our end of the bargain with Pharaoh. So shouldn't we stop it right away? There's no real hurry. I'm sure they'll do fine. Yeah, they can handle this. <laughs> I have faith in them now. Okay, where are where are they? Would they be at the Oh. Damn it! Why did I have to do it? That was the Dawn's grandson, Harry, right? Ah! Yuri! <laughs> I can't believe you should have told me you were alive! Sorry for worrying you. But I'm back. Well, aren't you tough? <laughs> That's my boy. Hey, I said you I ain't handing him over to you, Patty, darling. <laughs> <laughs> if you're both done messing around, we That's just funny. saw Harry. Did something happen to him? Uh, there's been just a teensy bit of trouble. The Union's kind of a ship without a captain right now. So the people won't come together unless there's some kind of core. Core! That's it! What's it? I got it! At the so even if the air stability <laughs> keeps changing, if I connect one she of the- listening. On, forget the explanation. We wouldn't understand it anyway. Oh, okay. The apatheia we gave to the Dawn should still be around, right? That was Bellius' apatheia. The cyanic- Rita's found a way to control air! Really? Cool! <laughs> Do you know what happened to the Cyano CL after the Dawn died? Um, nope. What about Harry? Shouldn't he? Good timing, too. I was just about to take him back. Go to the Union headquarters. We'll be back there soon. Okay, we just got Carol back. Let's just wait until we get uh, that guy back. Hmm? I don't think the world's gonna destroy anything, do you? Atmosphere is kind of strange. Yeah, mm. the Union is falling apart. Because nobody wants to step in to take the Don's place. And the Don's heir ain't quite up to it. Come on, don't hang. I was the one who led Grandpa to his death. Someone like me could never become a man like the Don was. Nobody's saying you gotta become a man like the Don was. We're just saying you should at least show up to the succession meetings. Hey, do you have the Don's app? Wow, that was quite a fastball, Rita. That apatheia belongs to whoever six. What? Well, when will. I don't know. Don't ask me. Well, then, we should. That boy's a real piece of work. Who's gonna protect the city if the Union isn't? What? Well, that would be our guild, of course. Talking of who's guild, I know that you sent in your Clouds of Dawn members to Zod. The Union has never been outstripped by the Empire. We cannot sit here and risk falling behind. I say it was imprudent. It could have been taken as the Union's hostile. In that case, we would defend our honor on the... And who will be leading the battle? The Clouds of Dawn? If the Dawn got wind of that, he'd burst out laughing. So why don't you boys in Altos throw your hat in the ring? Maybe then we'd see just how unpopular you really are. This is ridiculous. Continue as you please till the world comes to an end. But don't bring up a war between the guilds. This isn't a joke. Hey, I've got a great idea. A hard existence being worn down by the waves like... My, how ingenious. <coughs> yeah, you just keep talking. It's alright to be helped by your friend. That was the last thing that the Dawn said to me. 
care. What? I can't do anything by my because my friends are there for me. They're still there for me. Why isn't that good enough for the union? The boy is right. The best thing that the guilds ever had was their ability to help each other. There is always a way to deal with things, even if you aren't some great big leader. <laughs> the Don told you that from now on, you have to walk with your own feet. You know how to walk on your own feet, don't you? You make it sound so easy, but actually... Let's go. I'm gonna get sick if I have to stay here any longer. Hey, you, wait up! <laughs> what about the Apatheia? If you've got enough spare time to be hanging around those idiots, you'd be better off using it to think of another plan. Another plan? It's not that easy. You'll be able to come up with something if you just don't sleep for three days. Why is it on me? Because <laughs> you're the only one with actual intelligence out of, like, the entire group. Here. Are you giving this? No, this is going to be stolen. What do you mean? I owe you one. <laughs> Get a move on before the others realize it's gone. To what do we owe this generosity? I don't know. Maybe it just left a bad feeling in my stomach to get lectured by a kid like that. <laughs> Maybe there's some hope for that boy after all. So, now that we've gotten the Apatheia, what's next? Next up, we're going to the Zofair Rift. I'm going to use the unactivated air crene that's there. The Rift? We're going someplace cold again? Mind if old Raven waits here? You'd rather be cold than have the world be destroyed, wouldn't you? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Raven. <laughs> okay, uh, equipment. Oh. She's completely done with that. Death contrast, and this. Okay, Anubis, Dynamis isn't done yet, Asura, Rapier is done, I don't have anything that's actually better stat-wise here. I could do that just to get, you know what, might as well just equip that, it's quite frankly not like I use them all that much. I'm glad Yuri's safe men. I'm so glad Yuri's okay. Are you kidding? The Atafagos, the whole world going nuts? There's no way that kid would miss this. You weren't worried, Raven? Eh, maybe just a little. But guys like him keep getting up, no matter what happens, so... Nah, I wasn't too worried. <laughs> you really believe in Yuri, don't you, Raven? Aw, <laughs> oh, you're gonna make this old man blush. Okay, now we head back to that store and see what equipment we can actually buy and use since we have everyone here now. The fuck? All my boxes. I'm sure a lot of them are just gonna be thrown away. No, what's in there? <laughs> Frankly, I don't even know what's in there. That's funny. Uh, what's in this box? What the? The 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 fuck? To do something, or is that just like a, kind of a joke? 
Oh, that's actually... Ooh, those are real expensive, though. Okay, um... Equip. Let me see how many things here that I... Abyssian and Second Star. Yeah, so uh, I still have a couple swords for him. That I, I have a sword for him that I can use. Her. Uh, Grand Scepter is about it. I might want to get something for her. Uh, she has one more thing to get. And then it's, uh... Okay, I think I want to get something for her. Yeah. I still have a lot on hers. And considering how little I use... Repeat... I can probably just, um... Whatever, Repeat seems to be. I need one for him, and I already bought that for him. Okay. Axes. Oh, I can grab that one, because, uh... I might as well buy that just to get the materials. That one will fit for both of them, so... I think I can wait on that one. I already have... Jupiter and Ares can both wait because, again, she has... I already have them. Hammer, Sash. Oh, uh... You know, I want... I want to grab something for a cell. Yeah, I want to grab that for a cell. Oh, and I sh Ooh. Uh... Oh, right, I can sell all of this stuff because... It genuinely doesn't matter. I mean, you don't use... Once you have better, better armor, it doesn't matter. There. Okay. Uh, buy her spear. Yeah, no, I'm gonna... Hold off on buying any other, like, armor. Oh, but wait, one thing I need to buy. to restock on cooking materials here. And sh might as well just grab everything. That, grab those two. Anything else that I'm missing from that? Nope. Oh right, I want to check. Uh, six. Okay, uh, I don't think I need to worry about the armor right now. The increases are not significant. So I think I can, I can afford to, to hold off on that. Alright, off to the blade drifts. On art. This figurine is lovely. Figurine? I'd say it's more like a toy, really. You must not have seen many things like this in the castle, Estelle. I'd like to see more of these figurines. And thus, a figurine collector is born. Oh, some people are just more interested <laughs> in aesthetics than others, Yuri. It's not all that unusual. Yeah, I don't really have any interests outside of Blastia. I've always been a fan of cool guild emblems myself. What about you, Yuri? Huh? I've never really given much thought to artistic sorts of things. I never really looked at anything like art. Ask me! Ask me! Ask me what I like! Girls! <laughs> uh, that's right. We know it's right. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Everyone was just like, girls. That's the answer. Now shut up, Raven. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like Yuri would just collect swords. Just all the swords. All of them. A... Interesting, there's actually something here? I'm almost tempted to land, but I'd rather 
just head to the blade drifts. Uh, let's... Oh, I have to walk in. That guy's weak to fire. That wasn't too bad. Another new skill. Uh, does that mean I can replace your stuff? No, I still need to finish with the guard all. She's almost done, and I can twist her off soon. Uh, I really don't feel like doing this. In the dawn's wake. Seems that the Union is still in disarray. They relied on the Dawn for too much. They're probably scared without the guy who used to decide everything for them. I think I know how they feel. Constantly worrying whether or not you're about to make some big mistake. Well, I can't understand being so afraid of messing up that you can't decide anything. Wow, I agree with you for once. The Union has to do a lot of thinking for themselves now that they're without the Dawn. Isn't that how it should be? Absolutely. Off to the blade drifts. Into the blade drifts. Oh, it's cold, cold. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do with the air crane? I'm gonna use the energy to make an air converter. An air converter? My plan is to efficiently convert the air into matter, decreasing, but for that, it's ideal to have the converter use energy similar to both air and matter. How is that energy different from air? Elementally separated air transitions into matter in stages and eventually becomes stable. I'm going to stop its transition between the two states and develop a... So it won't be air or matter? <laughs> It's a state that's closer to matter than to air, but it's still not quite matter. We call it mana. Mana. To think that one short utterance could hold more gravity than the light used to lure fish out of the frigid sea at night. Daddy, you're trying too hard. It actually has a really long, complicated name, but mana's good enough. But it'll still be less stable than actual matter, so we'll need something to act as a core. The Epithea. And a lot of air and Estelle's power to recombine the formula. Using my power without the control formula will unbalance the air. It'll just flood out again. But we can't just sit here and ignore that thing. And... <laughs> yeah? It's a bet I'm willing to take. I guess I should be the one trying to stop you, but... I'm game to get in on this bet, too. <laughs> I... I'll wait... The theory is correct. It'll be okay. I'll return this billion gall to you next... Oh, truly now? Yep. Come on, let's head to the air creme. <laughs> Everyone just looks at at Raven like, dude, enough. Uh, I don't care enough about that treasure chest. Wait, you know what? Can I slip past it? Yes, I can. Oh, those just magic lenses. Okay, not enough fat to burn. It's freezing. I think there's a cabin or something where we can get out of the cold? I don't think anyone would build a cabin on top of a sheet of ice. <sighs> if we just had some fire. Oh yeah, Rita. Use your magic to give us some fire, would you? <sighs> what am I, a walking matchbox? And besides, using it on you would be a waste of air. What's the big deal? Weren't you just using it over and over again just a little while ago? That was to defeat enemies. What would you want me to set on fire anyway? Hmm, you've got a pretty muscular body. Huh? Well, I mean, with the guilds and the knights and all, it's a lot of work. Doesn't look like there's enough fat to burn very well. <laughs> <laughs> that's too bad. Okay, huh? that's funny. Hey! <laughs> it's just like, 
She's like, wait, can I set you on fire? Mm, no, you're too skinny. You didn't burn too good. Taking advantage of this while I can. I tell you, thinking of a converter for air. You're quite the thinker. That's our genius mage girl Rita. Yep, yep. <sighs> well, I had a hint to go off of. Come to think of it, you did say you'd investigated Zod, didn't you? <sighs> Despite its amazing size, it wasn't running off of air. <laughs> Even though it was a barrier blastia to protect the entire world. A barrier blastia? Oh yeah, they were protecting the world from the Autophagos. You mean to say it's been there for a millennium? It's as dogged as a philosophizing anemone. Same goes for the Autophagos. It's been clinging to that barrier for just as long. Alexei seemed to believe Zod was a weapon, but he couldn't have been more mistaken. <laughs> but the runaway air was the cause for the Autophagos awakening, wasn't it? Ah, so that's why they would use a barrier running on power other than air. But then, what sort of power was it using? The children of the full moon, perhaps? It was actually energy taken straight from them. Inside that giant core, it continued to power Zod as a virtually perpetual formula. Most likely, the energy was taken in exchange for their lives. The light of life was extinguished from the children of the full moon. So that's what Miorso's legend meant. According to Duke, they did it of their own free will. They wanted to save the world. The love the children of the full moon bore for this world is what created the barrier. The power of love makes you want to cry. <laughs> they sacrificed themselves for the world. The children of the full moon were protecting us the entire time. Uh, I'm genuinely just trying to find where I'm supposed to go here. Ah, there it is. First sign of a cold. Huh? Are you catching a cold, Estelle? No, it's just... I've been so cold ever since I saw Rita use that water magic of hers. That's terrible! Are you sure you're okay? Achoo! Now it's both of you? You should just tell Rita to stop using that kind of magic. I can hear Rita already. I'll decide what type of magic I use, thank you very much. Oh, come on. If we tell her that we might be coming down with colds, I'm sure she'll... What's that? Something about me? Achoo! Hey, you catch a cold too? Maybe someone's talking about me behind my back. Dot, dot, dot. It was just like that. Mm. Oh, wait, uh, let's... Use the save, just in case, so we don't have to go through all those cutscenes again. Alright, uh, check. That monster's not gonna show up again, right? If it does, you'll beat it up for us just like the last time, right? You're mean. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Estelle, come over here. Now, I'll release the control formula. Once I do that, the air credit. I want you to recompose the air formula into a steep. Uh, um, I don't understand. Yeah. Okay. The water element is strong here, so imagine flowing water and let your. The theory behind materializing air is the same as performing magic. If Estelle can recompose the air into a state close to mana, then I should be able to guide the air into the cyanociel. Can we do anything? No. Go take a nap or something. <laughs> We'd freeze to death if we took a nap here. <laughs> For once, we're even saying something I'm correct. Pretty handy, you know. We can cook or fish or anything. You I wouldn't say anything. We can use the conversion formula we found in Zaude. That was for substituting life for air. You can't do that. But if this fails, then we'll all be swallowed up by a flood of air. We'll be dead anyway, right? We're all risking our lives. <laughs> we'll be dead anyway, right? Let us help. <laughs> Look at her, she's like, oh, what are you gonna do? All right. I'll use your life energy to guide the air into the cyanocl. If we do that, 
I think Estelle will understand the flow of the air without interference from me. All right, everyone, let's do this. Sure. Okay. Why not? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Raven has zero bucks left to give. <laughs> Ready, Estelle? <coughs> here we go. Everyone, come over here. Go ahead. Try and synchronize yourself with my formula. There. Uh, confirm rules. The air connect radio will flow from the right to the left on the top line of color. Press the button corresponding with the color at the correct timing and overlaps the sales force field. The blue blue mark to the constant. Button is not pressed for tiny air will be it in the right when collected, collected plus found. Okay. Okay. This is actually this is the rhythm game. <laughs> but I'm bad at rhythm games, so like genuinely I'm very bad at rhythm games. Reconstituted air. Okay. The air is collecting in the cyano cell. The formula is working. The force field is stable. It's gonna be okay. Very confused. That voice. Bellius? Judith. Yes. It is not I, Bellius. Or rather, I was once Bellius. But no. What's going on here? Could the will of Bellius trapped in the Apatheia have. Amazing. I feel the waters of the world at my command. I am. Okay. So. Did, Did it work? work? <laughs> yeah, good question, Raven. It's gone way beyond working. I never thought it would gain a will of its own. Nature's mysteries will forever transcend the limited scope of our imagination. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on this one. <laughs> Humans? What creature am I? Though no longer Bellius the Intellicaea, you have granted life to me. I ask... A being that controls the essence of a material. Maybe you're a spirit. And so my name. The splishy splash. Someone beat him up. <laughs> Everyone just looked at him. She's. Word for the ruler of the <laughs> Everyone just looked at him like, no. How about stop. Undine? Shut up. Indeed. <laughs> Henceforth, ah, I feel the such as the benefit of the air which you saw fit to gather for me. It wasn't any cakewalk either. Receive this now as token of my thanks. Holy! Undini, we need to get the world's air under control. Very well. Huh? I control only the waters. You must get the elements of earth, water, wind, and fire. We need at least three more. We'll need help from the other Antelakea, won't we? I. There are very few Intelikea left. 
Pharaoh, Gusios, and Baul. Not Baul. He hasn't taken in enough air to create an apatheia. And on top of that, I won't allow it. Undine, do you have any ideas? The shining forest of Aria Lumen and Revelines, the root of the world. Your friend Baul should know the location of these places. She disappeared! No, she is... It seems like the air crinna has quieted down too. Even though we're not controlling Estelle's power. Really? <laughs> so, Undine is controlling Estelle's power? You mean Estelle is really... Yes. Yes! That's great, Estelle. Well, <laughs> things are sure taking a turn for the strange. Yeah, I never would have dreamed any of this would happen. But we finally see the light at the end. It's a pinprick, but as welcome as the rays of sun that pierce into the ocean's depths. We can earn the Spirit Hunter title. Uh, let's save, and then I want to check out what those weapons are. Okay, I want to check out those weapons. Oh, slashers the one I picked up. Uh, what was it? What was it? This and Seven Star, Warp Sword, Hunt Dash. Oh, was it not? Was it for uh, Estelle? Oh! I'll do Chris Naga and then that one. Do this. Ah, uh, uh, Death Contrast I think is the one that I bought and then that's what I got as an upgrade. Unicorn Horn. I don't know what the other one I got was. Freeing Estelle. <laughs> Rita, you look happy. So do you, Yuri. There's no longer anything shackling Estelle. She can use her power without causing any harm to herself or unbalancing the air. So yeah, I'm happy. Estelle's really free! There's no guarantee she won't overdo things again, though. We'll just watch her closely. If we don't, she might go back to healing people till she keels over. Uh, okay. I looked it up. Did we get, like, a key item or something? I don't think... No. Is it a ring? Oh, it's this. Max TP... Um... Estelle, wear this. Wear this. Wear this. Yeah. <laughs> Estelle, you gain. Yeah, I just looked up what the last thing was because I couldn't find it. So. Friggin'. Bring an extra TP. That's not a bad thing to have. Oh. I don't care what rock you crawled out from. Bring it. Penguins would be if they could fly. Um, that terrifies me. I don't 
don't think I have like any altered altered arts that I need one right now. Switch out her weapon now. Because learn type functions, yeah. Uh, 908, 936, E81. I'm looking for like the numbers. Bloody coat. Is that actually better than what they have? No, not really. Higher magic defense, but not enough to be worth switching out. Uh. Also. Clearly this bot did not see things. Uh, if you are here, mm, nope. Uh, you are just getting banned. I'm not dealing with any promotions of that any, or any sort of the sort. You promote shit like that, you get banned. Period. I'm not dealing with this. of like, hey, we're here to, you can pay us for viewers, no, no, I'm not doing that. Not carrots, uh, because of course we did, we just murdered snowmen. Uh, what's this? No, I don't need seal bottles. Connected. Very interesting. Okay, save the research for later, okay? <laughs> I know, I know. You don't have to. What, what was that just now? Isn't that where? It came from the direction of Zaude. Oh, we're we getting an animation? Oh, yeah, you got seen. Fell off the uh. Well, goodbye, Zaude! Eh? 
Oh, hey, it's those things. The Atifagos. No. Has Zaudi stopped working? Uh oh. Do you think we might have done something to set this off? That is the true catastrophe. That thing does look like it could eat the whole world. What are we supposed to do about something like that? It's a touch too big to fillet with just my kitchen knife. Hey, Rita. Duke said the Autophagos was born from air. Huh? So if the spirits convert air into matter, could we do something about the Autophagos if we had enough spirits? I don't know. I just... I don't know. But... I do think it's worth a try. Let's try it, Yuri. Then it's settled. Baul! Yes, I see. Thank you. The servants of the Atafagos are attacking the city. Nordopolica. <gasps> I guess we can't ignore something like that. Let's go. The Atafagos revive. Oh! I'm gonna hurt that idiot who brought the Atafagos back! What could have happened at Zaude? Those nut jobs probably fiddled with the thing too much and broke it. Thanks to Alexei, Zaude's no longer functioning like it was meant to. Greed always eats itself. That wouldn't be a problem if there weren't other victims. This guy just never learns, does he? Things are gonna have to hit bottom before he consider changing his ways. But they see that thing about to eat the planet, right? Even an idiot would understand the situation. I sure hope so. <laughs> an idiot, but not the stupid. I don't really want to feel deal like feel like dealing with the overworld stuff right now, so holy bottle. I just don't want to deal with the overworld enemies right now. can't enter the city from there, so I guess we need to go in from the land. Look! It's hanging on to the city! That black thing! That's what we saw in the sands of Kogor! That was Pharaoh's vision. This is real. Be careful. Looks like it's trying to eat the air of the shield. Is the Atafagos drawn to air? This thing looks pretty mean. It <laughs> may be, but it's what we've caught on our line. We'll reel it right in. Come on. Oh, wait, shit. I don't think I... Crap. I made a minor miss. I missed that here. Daybreaker is weak to water. Really? And Nightbreaker is weak to fire. Interesting. Okay. Focus on Nightbreaker, I think, because I actually have skills that can really hurt it. Hundred thousand health, but these guys actually don't seem to have all that much. Like two of them. 
that there's no like secret mission here so yeah I'm basically just spamming fire havoc here Water. Does Yuri have any water arts? Or rather, I suppose it would be more accurate to say, do I have any equipped? No. skill for uh Raven. Hold your position. We're gonna stop them here. <laughs> Things getting wild around here. Y you were I guess I'm saved again. It seems that this was the only city to be attacked. What bad luck. This isn't about luck. Where were you, Rita? <laughs> I went to check the barrier Blastia. Its power had been raised. And I guess the monsters were drawn to it. The power is returned to normal now. We thought raising the power would protect us. But it turned out to... I'll go see the citizens. Feel free to rest here as long as you please. Thanks for the offer, but we still have business to do. We better get moving. Is there any more, like, actual at any dungeons time. at this point? Try stopping by when you have the time. I don't know. Thanks. There's like those two other places that were listed. The threat of the Autofagos. Ew! I can't believe the Autofagos could spawn such a disgusting monster! The illusion Pharaoh showed us. He was trying to make us feel the power of the Autofagos. But it's no illusion this time. Oh, oh man. Are hordes of these things just gonna attack everything? <laughs> Ow! Hey, no fighting! It's all right, Repeat. <laughs> He's just a little nervous, that's all. And what's wrong with being a little nervous? I'm not gonna run away or anything, I swear! 
I also want to look something up. This thing, I just want their locations. save just so that we can actually you know save it long razor hair versus black hat is hopeless Except Are we gonna give it a thing that actually tells us where to go? Nats was really yeah. working hard. Yeah, it looks like he's doing a good job leading since Belly has passed away. I'd like him to meet Undine. He'd be so happy. <laughs> Not right now. Once everything's settled down though, let's give him a nice surprise. Okay. That monster. Paul Australia was no match for it. So how did we take it out? Maybe there's something different about us. The spirits, perhaps? If the Autophagos really is close to air, then the spirits might actually affect it. So can we put up more of a fight if we get the other three? Who knows? <laughs> the four elements alone could control air, but we're talking about the Autophagos. I just don't know. Yeah, and it's not like you can find Apathea lying around just anywhere. There aren't many Entelakea left either. <laughs> hey, there are tons of Blasty all over the world, right? Yes, they're an indispensable part of our society. And cores are just pieces of Apathea. So if the four spirits aren't enough, we can just change all the cores of the world into spirits, too, right? Hmm. Then we may end up with as many spirits as there are grains of sand. Are you nuts? How do you propose to do that? Even if we knew how, we'd still have to go to every single Blastia. I doubt the Autophagos would wait for us. I think that's your specialty, genius. <laughs> oh, no. This is your genius plan. <laughs> Reed is like, no, no, no. Do not shove this on me. All the Blastia would stop working, wouldn't they? Yeah, I guess so. All the cores would be gone. What would the world become? People would lose the safety promised by the barriers. All the functions that the Blastia maintained. Gone. It'll be inconvenient, to say the least. Even Bodhi Blastia wouldn't work. Ugh. Who cares? Blastia or no Blastia, a single ore is all I need to cross the ocean. I admire your spirit, Patty. Well, isn't that all fine and dandy? There'll be a lot of unhappy people, but we have to do it. Otherwise, the world will fall to the Autophagos, even if no one else ever understands why. <laughs> well, for now, let's just get the four elemental spirits. Aye, we'll cross those other bridges when we come to them. Baul knows where the other Entelikea are, right? Yeah. Let's get back to the ship and ask him. 
Okay, uh... Equipment. I saw some... That's Guardian still... Ah! 931. Does this everything he have special on it now? <laughs> 897... 931... Okay, so let's start with the breaker bow. Do the boat! It's easier than running all the way out. Depart on the ship, yeah, I guess. The shining forest of Area Lumen and the root of the world, Reloise. I've never heard of those places. If only we could glimpse them. <laughs> Would make things far easier. <sighs> Baul says he knows. However, mm -hmm. he doesn't want to tell us. Apatheas only come from the death of Intelikea. He doesn't want to put his friends in danger. Baul, listen. We want to protect the world, but we don't want to sacrifice anyone for it. We won't just take the Apatheia by force. Baul. Tell us where the Intelikea are. is in the northeast part of Tulpikia. Reloise is on the continent of Wakea. Thank you, Baul. We also need to go to the sands of Kogor, where Pharaoh is. Right. Northeast Tulpikia. I wonder if that's the place where a new land just recently crystallized. Wakea is that continent to the south of Ilikia, where the capital is, right? <laughs> Wakea. The Emperor Calx III sent scouting parties four times in order to claim the land, but every time they lost communication and no one ever returned. It's the last unexplored land on Tercolumeres. Why does it have to be a place like that? If Wakea is that bad, then let's leave Reloise for last. He says he'll leave things up to you. Thanks, Baul. Let's go. We can't exactly dawdle forever. Hmm. <laughs> I think yeah, that has definitely been different since the whole, like, graveyard thing. Alright, but first, we want Sands of Kogor for, um. What's his face? Oh. There he is. Well, just ran into him. He's hurt! Why is he flying? Any idiot could come along and take him out. He couldn't put up a fight like this. It's probably so humans won't get his apatheia. Human greed knows no bounds. Even the sky offers no sanctuary. Then there really isn't anywhere that's safe. Pharaoh! Hey! He's landing! It looks like he's calling us. Let's go. Well, yeah, he took a giant laser to the chest, if I recall correctly. So, uh, yeah. Pretty badly injured, man. Pharaoh? Pharaoh, come on! I'm sorry. It was all for us. What do you mean? Pharaoh was a decoy for us at Zaude. The fate of the world is set. We shall meet our end. Duty unfulfilled. How unfortunate. You give up pretty fast for someone who fought for so long. Sorry, but things aren't over yet. Zaud is lost. The other Fagos has returned. Neither humans nor we possess the power of old. What more can be done? There's still hope. There's a new power. We would like you to become a spirit. A being that can control air even more. But to do that, we need your apatheia. You ask me to hand over my life. <sighs> Your heart alone cannot save the world. But you must have the heart to save it. I am not long for this world. 
Do with me as you please. Okay, are we doing another rhythm game, or was it basically a one-time thing? What if he doesn't help us when he becomes a spirit? <laughs> Pharaoh loves the world. It'll be fine. Shall we? But the air crane here is all dried up. If I follow the flow of the air back, I should be able to pull it from within the world. Are you sure? Undine is telling me that. Okay. <laughs> okay, time for another uh, rhythm game. I'm assuming. Oh, no. He skipped it. Cool. It worked! Hey, 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 hey! Hot, hot! <laughs> of course, Raven is the one who gets sets on fire. <laughs> Trying and they're just getting shut down. <laughs> I am now connected strongly to the world, and all seems new again. Even this wasteland is filled with power. <laughs> Wonderful! Hey, he flew away. Hey, where are you? Fear not. We are bound to you. Wherever you go, the Intellikea and the Child of the Full Moon. Spirits, nature's providence is great indeed. Man, they are so different before and after becoming spirits. They have totally different points of view. It's like, imagine if a fish became a bird. This is better for them than being some sage, always worrying about the world. <laughs> Just yeet off into the sky. Light at the end of the tunnel. You know, we're up to our eyeballs in problems. Saving the world sure keeps a guy busy. Well, the problems we're dealing with are a lot bigger than they used to be. What? Why is everybody looking at me? I got something on my face? Problems like you, Yuri. A lot. I hear that. Fate <laughs> is definitely out to get you. <clears throat> After everything that's happened, <sighs> I'm starting to wonder myself. But hey, I've done a pretty good job of getting us out of whatever mess we're in, right? You gotta at least give me some credit there. See? For Yuri, the end of the world's just one more problem that needs solving. Maybe that attitude's what's kept us seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Gotta love the power of positive thinking. So we need to go uh hang on. Synopsis. Uh, 
Crystal Isle, northeast of Tolpiki. Uh, I'm going to assume that this is Tolpikia. So Tolbikia is this place. So northeast of Tolbikia. Oh, I can actually see. I'm um, going to assume this is where we need to go. That sound is actually really annoying. Area Lumen Crystal Ends. And this looks like the center of the crystallization. It's beautiful. Like we're in a dream. It's air that crystallized at low density. Is this mana? I have to take a sample. This entire forest is a treasure. But it likely won't fit on the ship. Oh no, it's just a bit too big, Patty. I don't know just how you can how tell. They come up with such different reactions. They just shatter. <laughs> this is fun. You're so stupid. Nature didn't make this, you know. Huh? What do you mean? The center of a new land that just crystallized. Somewhere around here is the one who made that happen. And an air crane. What's up, Repeat? Find something? This is... Someone crushed these crystals, and it wasn't us. What curious fellow would venture all the way out here? Looks like someone got here before us. Watch out. Okay, um... I want to check something. Uh, hey. Right, I don't have those turned on because they're on my weapon, so I don't need them. Um, might as well click that. No, oh, shoot. Um, okay. that how pharaoh feels we're lucky pharaoh decided to help us out he's a little extreme but there's no doubt he cares for this world just like judy said i've been hard on him in the past but he has helped us out all this time we must defeat the autophagos and save the world for pharaoh and his love of the world ah uh, no cheesy lines yeah come on <laughs> honestly you two should learn to show your feelings I don't want to like run back and forth and see if there's anything on the wall. Uh, of course. I don't care what rock you crawled out from. Bring it. Ooh. Medic lens. Oh! <laughs> 
There we go. Well, I suppose that's the answer on who's in here. Open the chest. Lemon bottle. Nice. Oh, we're gonna have to fight that guy. If only just because. We should really enjoy these little times together. Carrion, level 53. What level is everybody actually? Ah, uh, we'll look afterwards. Oh, they're weak to light, okay. Agile. Okay. Let's walk past the giant turtle. Never mind, we have to fight the giant turtle. I'll take him out. It doesn't seem fair. Let's go murder the giant turtle first. Regenerate my SP. Oh. This one's strong. Ooh, scared. Ray. Alright, let's see this last guy we can really use that on. levels. Don't think I got any skills, right? Nope. Smash that. Grab this. No. The Manon Shell is what? 30% of health. Uh, give that to her so I can just grab that.
There we go. Oh. Come here. Come here. Come around. We will not go easy on you. Well, at least there's no one else I need to look at. Down there. There is stuff back there though. Turtle. Come here, turtle. There we go. Oh. This one's pretty tough. Ooh, I can't. I don't really want to fight this, I'm just going to escape here. The fight is not worth it. Because I don't want to use up any more, um, of the, uh, of my, um, lenses. Weapon. Nan! I warn you, the hunting blades are currently patrolling the area. Leave it. What? Nan! These wounds are terrible. Come on, Nan! Carol, what are you doing alone? Where's the boss and Tyson? Master and the others went on. But what? They left you behind? The boss is one thing, but I can't believe Tyson wouldn't take you. What happened? We wound up fighting our target here. I... I couldn't do anything. Just like always. Master said it's because I had doubts. Doubts? I hate monsters. They shouldn't be alive. I still... But now, at a time like this, hunting monsters isn't that important. There are other things we should be doing. When I told him that... They up and left you. Fools. With everything the way it is, how can they not take another look at their lives? That's terrible! I mean, Nan's right! Relax, Carol. Hey, the hunting blades are after Entelikea, right? We should hurry. Yeah. Nan, can you walk? Huh? It's too dangerous to be alone here. Come with us, Nan! Carol... Okay. Ah, save point. Thank God. Uh. Highlander. 
Uh, let's just look what that is. I have the Bone Slasher for later, but Highlander. And I have Second Star, which I still need to get the stuff off of. <coughs> Plus, oh, ooh, that's kind of helpful, especially for Yuri's. You know what? That skill is probably why he has so few hits on his uh on his uh limit or on his Mystic Art. Two copies of that sword. Stell, can you confirm for me? Oh, I have Dark Avenger and Dark Avenger plus one. Ah. Okay. I'm just gonna save again, just make my life a lot easier here. Just save again, just to be sure. And it's a mimic, of course. Ooh, I can't wait to fight this one. We must No, it's It is not worth it to fight the mimic like that. Thing. Some more. And money. And lots of it. Oh, there we go. Total sun. Total sun. What's this? Two lemon gels. Oh, and two pineapple gels, okay. Leafy stunt, leafy stunt. Thank you. What's this? Uh, full heal save? Let's see what's down here. No, I don't... Okay. Don't just stand there. 
Might as well just take them out. Hey, maybe it'll actually let me get my axe done finally. Life bottles worries me. Okay, uh, let me pull up the guy, the guy that I've been using for the um, secret missions. Secret missions. Retract his tail and then knock him down. Okay. That's Gusios? Back at Kerbokram. So the hunting blades have a history with them. So which one of them is our buckle? Which one is what now? Judith, wait! Something's wrong! <laughs> it's eating the air, but this is Nan. It's Nan. What are you doing here? You don't know what you're doing. I told you, you just get in the way. Run. There's nothing you can do here. No, the guild is my family. I can't just leave you to die. Damn it, Nan. You. Lucius, calm down! Tell me what happened! Undine! What? what is that? A spirit. A spirit. Gusios, you... Undine, what happened to him? It doesn't look like he's in the mood for talking. Even Intellikea cannot ingest limitless amounts of air. Those who ingest more than they can endure... change. And... No! ...become Adafagos themselves. What? So he got like this by trying to protect the world? Gusios... Save him. Steal Gusios. Right. Okay. <sighs> this is a need to win fight. Has to be. I can't believe we have to kill him. If there's no other way, then uh how do I retract his tail? How should I do the secret mission? Okay, that's actually not nearly as hard as I was expecting. Um, I have to tell myself. There's no way to save him if he becomes an autophagos. You're right.
a secret mission achieved. Why is it that these later game bosses are feeling so much easier? I mean, it's probably helping that he's weak to fire and Rita spams fire spells like, like they're coming from a matchbox. River. Why is this thing just spamming Raging River? What? Carefully.
that off my desk, please. Are you for real? There's no countdown on that. There is no like time on that. It is just you in is just spamming that at this point. Oh thank God. God. That was just cheap at this point. He just starts spamming the fucking water thing over and over and over and over and over again. I literally couldn't do anything. At that point, it just became a test of how many items you had. The oh, fuck? Gusios, I'm sorry. What? He's gone! Now you want to hate this, too? That's the soul of that monster. I've got to crush it! He's not a monster! They were trying to protect the world! This is something even a sea slug could understand with a bit of thought. I don't care what the Entelakeo were for! You knew. All this time, you knew what the Entelakeo were! You knew and you still hunted them? With the world like it is? Ten years ago, the Entelakea killed my family. And it's not just me. Most of the hunting blades have lost something important to monsters. No matter what happens to the world, my feelings for these things will never change. But you're wrong. What? No matter what you do, you can't bring anyone back. You aren't the only ones who lost loved ones in the war. But some try to be positive and keep living. You can't save anyone, yourself included, if all you do is lash out in hatred. Instead, you should treasure the ones who are still here. I think it's admirable to protect a city from monsters, but... Don't just be pig-headed about it. Do it when the world is, you know, okay. It's too late for me to change. Huh. If you're gonna get in our way, then we'll settle things here. Chief. <sighs> Please wait. Get up, you maggots. We're withdrawing. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder if he understood. Who knows? Probably so not. Let's make a spirit. So was that, was that fucking little music rhythm game thing just a one-time thing? I guess 
guess it worked. But he's not opening his eyes or moving or anything. His consciousness itself was nearly taken. He will not wake for a while. Now, give him a name. What's his element? A power rooted deep within the world. Earth itself. Earth? Hmm. The spreader of roots. Gnome. The spirit of Earth. No. Let us tell him once he awakens. I can't believe Entelikea, who try to control air, wind up as out of Fagos. <laughs> People can't understand anything except what they see with their own eyes. <sighs> so after all that happened, turns out the worst thing in the world is people. Yeah, that sounds about right. Humans, we're our own worst enemy. <laughs> Which means we have to work that much harder. Yeah, you're right. Hunting blades. So his family was killed by the Intelikea. Clint, was it? The grudge he's got against them won't fade anytime soon. Maybe he has his reasons, but I think just hunting monsters has been his purpose for a while. I was like him once. I only lived to destroy Blastia. But you've grown since then. Then maybe he can still change, like you did, Judith. I don't know. Either way, we've got our own goals to worry about. Right, Carol? Huh? Yeah, you're right! Okay, let's... Restock a bit on the like nice things. Uh, we are not heading towards the next dungeon after this. Um, we are going to uh, get the heck out of here, and then uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna holy bottle. I do not want to like dealing with this. And then we're just gonna we're gonna get out of here, and then we're gonna go restock on items because that ate so many resources that fight. Because this dude just spent his like. Full arena AoE. Like, that's what that was. was a full, just, arena nuke. Which is like, really? You put this on a boss? Especially considering the AI seemed to decide, I'ma just spam it. No. Oh. This world is changing. What's wrong, Judith? One wrong choice could have led to far greater destruction, but instead the spirits were born. Sometimes we have to make difficult choices for change to occur. The spirits are proof of that. Maybe their current form shows the future the Intelikea hope to create. Yes, I think you might be right. One day, Baul might also face the decision of becoming a spirit. If the spirits represent evolution for the Intelikea, then... Okay, uh, we are going to... ...head to a city that will give me resources. Uh, might as well actually just return to Dongress, because I know I can, I can get, get stuff there. Restock on items. <laughs> it is 
9 and 11. Although I think I did use some up, some on the that fight with the, the thingy. I don't need those. Life bottles, yes. I right, so don't need dark bottles. Um, and I used up almost all of my lenses. said south of the capital. Lots of check. Uh, synopsis. Uh, bodies and crystal. Crystal Island, North East Tobacchia, and the Athens of the Sands of Bugor, and on the continent of Wakea, respectively. To know. <sighs> Old Goosey turned into gnome safe and sound. That's a load off. Yes, it would have been tragic if he'd transformed into an autophagos. Yeah, he's just fulfilling the role he was meant to play. I doubt he ever thought that his transformation might have caused the cataclysm itself. I feel for the poor Entelakea who became autophagos in the past. If only they'd had the option of spirit conversion. Young lady, don't dwell too much on all the what ifs. Maybe they didn't have a choice, but those who became Autophagos are trying to devour this world. That is the reality. I know, but it's just so sad. Okay, return to the map. Okay, we're just gonna go to the entrance and then I'll save there, so we don't have to go very far next time. And then that's where we'll call it. That is where we are going to call the stream. I'm going to return to the title screen. Um, okay. So. Uh, those of you who are here, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you're interested in any of the VODs no longer on Twitch, throw on my YouTube, which is linked down below in the About Me, or I'm posting it in the chat right now. Um, I don't know what Wednesday's going to be. I have to think and look what I have and, you know, figure it out from there, from what I have access to. Um... But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for coming, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.